Hello and welcome to another Seeking Technology Quick Tip. Today we're going to be dealing with uh, some uh, table driven parts. We're going to show you how to create first a uh, design table and then take that design table and use it in a drawing and uh, get a nice pretty result. Design table until OK. And the first thing we know is we know we want to get these two sketches from our original sketch, which is sketch one, usually. And then uh, the other thing that we want is the length. So this will be our A, B, and C links for our design table. So we'll tell it OK. Now one of the things I don't like is that, you know, editing the, uh, the design table there in that window. I think it's best to go ahead and click out of there, which I just did, and uh, right click and say edit table in a new window. Now you'll see it comes up and says, oh, do you want to put something else in here? I'll tell it description, uh, just for giggles, and it added that here. Okay, so um, how else can we do this? Let's, let's do Control X, because this is going to be, our, the way that this looks is what our table is going to look like in our drawing. So I'm doing Control X there, and then I'm going to insert that cut cell here, because what we want to do is have our part number here, and then we're going to want to have our description, and then our uh, different uh, dimension values called out there. Okay, so let's come in here and do this real quick. I'm going to highlight both of these and change them to a general uh, cell type. And the reason we do that is because uh, SolidWorks automatically makes those into text. And that won't work for what I'm about to do here. I'm just going to say that this is equal to, and let's say that our part number here is XB and... I like doing things this way because then I can say, oh, it's and this text value. So maybe I can say that. And then if I put two zeros in here, it'll put a leading zero in there. So if this thing gets bigger, it'll you know, be 10 or 11 or it'll be 0, 1, 0, 2, whatever. Um, and then let's uh, put it in ampersand here and we'll do a text. Now this is just Excel here. This is nothing to do with uh, SolidWorks whatsoever. And uh, let's put in another thing here and put it in a dash. And then last but not least, let's put in our length here. And we'll make that three digits long, potentially. Okay. And it says I did something goofy there, which I did. I put in two. Oh, it did. It tried to help me. Okay. There we go. And then let's do the same thing here. Let's do our description here. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. This is equal to C channel and text of that. And in this case, I'm just going to put in uh, two pound signs. This way it won't put it in a leading zero. And then we can say and uh, space x space and text of that comma and a pound pound again there as well. Oops, I forgot my last closing quote. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got a nice little description here. Let's just say that uh, we're going to do a bunch of different sizes. So we'll say plus one. And here I'm going to say four and two. And uh, let's just grab this. Control C and then maybe Control V down to here. And let's say that when we get down to, I don't know, size 10, we go to a, uh, let's say we go to a four by threes, maybe for that many, and then maybe here we go to a six by two, and maybe here we go to six by three, and I'll just copy and paste that. Now, in order to get all of our configurations and our part numbers and all that stuff, we can come down here and just control C and control V that. Now you can see that it's automatically created our smart part number here for all those values and it has our description here of 6 by 2 you know obviously the only difference here is going to be the length right so we'll just tell it uh, okay and we could have said you know by whatever length or whatever alright so let's just get out of that spreadsheet and we'll tell it okay and open up our SOLIDWORKS and now you can see we've got a bunch of different sizes in here right so we just made all of those sizes with the right part numbers and all that stuff in a couple of minutes. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's go, uh, let's grab like our biggest one here. 
and let's save that and let's go make a drawing from this part and uh, I'm gonna grab just the top view here and maybe do a side view and maybe an isometric view um, let's change our uh, our uh, sheet here to uh, be a little bit bigger view so let's do properties and let's do a half scale maybe okay now one of the things I'll take this off here to save us some room obviously this isn't gonna work too well but we're gonna show you that we can uh, put in a broken section in here I'm gonna move this out of the way and let's put in a breakout so we'll just break this from here to here okay and let's move this view over here and next thing we're going to want is obviously some annotations in here <clears throat> so let's do that let's put in our annotations we'll put in some model items um, let's put uh, put that value there and uh, maybe that value there that's probably good enough right and uh, sure alright now the next thing we need to do is we have to highlight this view in order for this to show up here but uh, if you go to insert tables you can put in design table and you can see we've got a little a table over here it's not the prettiest looking thing in the world is it um, first of all it only goes down to a certain values second of all it's got all this nasty crazy stuff up here right so let's go and edit that file and uh, let's go ahead and right click and say edit with worksheet and it will pull it up here now we can right click and insert a new row here which I like to do and I like to hide this and then I like to call this uh, uh, let me take my caps off part number and then we'll say description and then we'll say A, B, and C. Let's highlight all those. Make them all like that. And I'm going to hide this row as well. And we'll bold this and put a little color behind it. And I'm just going to double click on these so that they don't take up more room than they need to. And uh, let's throw in some... Uh, lines around all of this. We'll add all borders. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and exit out of that. We'll tell it OK. And you can see there it's updated the table. Sometimes you end up with these extra columns and things out here. What I like to do is go over here and open up my part, edit my design table over here in a new window. And uh, don't ask me why this works, but if you just like highlight a few columns here and just press hide and then also here and hide and then save that and then go back to your window over here and update it'll re-update the design table and it'll be nice and clean so the last thing we've really got left uh, to do here is uh, label our drawing appropriately so let's go ahead and do that and uh, that's just a matter of coming in here and overriding these values um, this is our length so let's go ahead and change that so we highlight over this um, SolidWorks gives us a warning it says hey you know you're not going to show the right thing and we say yeah we don't care because this is a table drawing and uh, let's see here here's our A dimension Do the same thing here again it warns us and here we'll tell it to B and you can see you've got a nice table driven uh, drawing that shows all of your dimensions on there, uh, nice broken section view, etc. And obviously, you could put some additional details on here as well. I hope this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us on our website. Also, uh, we appreciate all the kind comments and things on our uh, channel here. So, if you f feel as though you'd like to say something nice <laughs> or something bad, uh, let me let us know and uh, place it on our channel here. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.